Hey everybody, welcome to a daytime stream of a side of burger. Excuse me, I need something out of the fridge real fast. I'm back. Yeah, we're doing uh, we're doing breakfast, right? We haven't done a breakfast. We're doing dinners, drunken dinners. Let's do a drunken breakfast. It's the best kind. But not just any breakfast though. An English breakfast, which I don't know if you know what English breakfast is. Uh, it's basically a metric fuck ton of pork. Boom. This one. Get this cam. Cam, cam one? Are, are we on cam one? Cam one, cam two. Oh no. With your poke eggs. You guys know what eggs are? This, this is an egg. Comes from a chicken's butt. And crazy for us, uh, us, us Americans, mushrooms, sauteed mushrooms, which are gonna be delicious. We're gonna go slice some tomatoes, got some bread, and cannot be complete without a nice tin of beans. That was an English accent, if you guys have picked that up. That's what it sounded like over there. Yeah, uh, tin of poking beans and tomato sauce. Showboat brand, it's my go to. Uh, but yeah, so uh, we're, we're, we're doing that. I'm gonna, I got some uh, mimosas going on right here. A little bit of mimosa action. Delicious. Not English, I don't think. French? What do you think? M mimosas. Frenchy? 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 Uh, Probably American as shit. Sounds American. We're just like, throw some orange juice and some champagne and just go drink with me. Sounds American. Oh, wait, no. Wait, 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 wait. The Irish coffee, though. What am I doing? Irish coffee. Because, I mean, it's a side of bourbon, right? you got to have some kind of bourbon stuff going on. So I'm going to add a little bit of this to my Irish coffee, and we're going to get started. Welcome to A Side of Bourbon. So we're doing, we're doing a fry up. Because I mean, basically all we're doing is we're frying a bunch of pork, right? And that's like kind of like the crux of the uh, operation here. A little bit of butter in there, why not? Even though we're frying pork, get a little butter in there. It's good. It's good for you. It's good for the heart. Is that thing making a noise? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's just gas. It's like normal. Is it? All right, let's get a pork fry up. Pork fry. And some butter, cause we don't care about a heart. Also, another thing about English breakfast, they use what's called, so this isn't bacon, right? But they use bacon, but their, their bacon is called rashers, and our bacon is called streaky bacon. So in the US, you know, streaky bacon, real fatty, a lot of lines of the fat, you know, it looks like very streaky, right? The streaks of fat going through it. English rashers are not as fatty, it's more like ham. So I got some country ham instead of actual bacon. They'll be a little more, a little closer to what like Eng like British bacon would be like we don't we don't we don't we don't we don't get that here you know. Next step, uh, probably gonna get the mushrooms going. Um, talking to a buddy of mine last night who is actually English, living in the England, and he said only use butter on your on your, your mushrooms. So let's, we're just doing butter, man. He also said don't use salt and pepper, but he's a monster, so we're putting salt and pepper on there. But we are used to, like, using butter though, so don't worry. Some slicey sliced mushrooms. I don't think these really matter about like the size or whatever, so I'm just gonna slice them up. Leave them kind of thick, thickish, nice and thick. Okay. 
Also, slice mushroom, slice off one end so you get a nice little, nice flat piece. I don't care the trash out either. Dad gum it. Also, Spody, I'm gonna need you to go uh, turn off the water at, at the hose outside, real, 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 real quick. Right now. Yeah. 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 So we're just gonna chop these up. Probably not that many, right? That should be enough. It's only, I mean, really, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's, it's a condiment basically. It's just like a little accoutrement to your breakfast. So that's really good. We're gonna get these going on the back stove. Um, Right back here. We'll get that nice and hot. Nice and hot. All right, our, our little pork patties. We're not. We don't have black pudding. So another very like traditional thing you would have in a in an English breakfast is what's called black pudding. It's basically slices of uh, this blood sausage, which in a, a blood sausage, if you don't know what that is, it's basically blood, of course, um, and then it's mixed with uh, like a cereal, like. Kind of like oatmeal, because it kind of absorbs all the meat and a bunch of spices, and then they put that into a sausage casing. So that's what blood sausage is. I've never had it before. Um, I would try it. I hear it's uh, it's like an acquired taste, you know. Not every, not, not for everybody, you know. Hear that fry though? Frying up, English fry up. We're doing it. We're freaking doing it. Oh no, I'm just on parchment paper. Everybody, sad day. Guys down here, we're gonna need this in a second. We're good though, don't worry about that. Hey, what's up, Stalina? English breakfast today. They're a kitten. Can I call you kitten? That's easier than Stalina. Also, where are you coming from? I my connection is garbage over here. But yeah, welcome to an English breakfast. I don't know if you, if you know what that is, but you're gonna find out. All right, we got our pan back there going. That was to a nice low. Oh no, we, we, we lost our fire, everyone, don't worry. This pot's not on fire. There we go. That's good, that's good. We're getting a little hot there, so I had to turn it down. But yeah, we got our, uh, got a, got a pork fried up here. We got that going, about to throw our mushrooms down. Gonna smash the patties down. Yeah, so basically it's to sort of like emulate the the black pudding. I just got sausage patties, you know. You know, just a huge. Turn our salt these sausages over. Also, you can't find proper like English breakfast sausages in, in the U.S. at like most grocery stores. So I just got some smoked sausage from the the local supermarket, you know. All right, let's get our pan over here for our shroomies. All right, this is, this is for you, Smith. Only butter, but we're using a lot of it, so come here. Come here, butter. Get in there and beat somebody. All right, the butter in there. All these shroomies in there. And we're using salt and pepper. I don't care what Smith says. A little bit of salt. Gonna throw a couple of gr gr grinds of the old pepper mill in there. Boom, a roux. Let these bad boys go. We're just, we're just, we're just softening these, these guys up, right? Nothing, nothing crazy. You guys, uh, you guys, you guys know how, how to cook mushrooms. Hey, Wayne Sack! Ah, oh, you cook food? I do cook food, Wayne Sack. I, I do indeed. And today, Wayne Sack, just for you, for your birthday, we're doing English breakfast. Why is it so hot? Why is it so hot? Oh, baby, these are already looking good. It's already looking amazing right here. Look at this little... That's some nice charred sausages. I got a little two char on that side. Oh well, no big deal. Supposed to be black pudding, so we're adding a little bit of char to it for the color. Right, right, right. I like a little, I, I like a little char on my sausage, honestly though. We wanted it, and we'll, and we're getting it. All right. So that's good. This is good. Yeah, I mean, like, it's a very chill thing, right? We're not having anything crazy. We're just chilling, having some drinks. Irish coffee, English breakfast. The, the classic combo. Oh, you want another mimosa, my lady? Hey. This thing does not want to stay low, man. I don't love this, this cooker. 
I might have to uh, invest in another solution for this here. It won't like go low. It'll have to be like pretty high to stay lit. Which is not lit. Right guys? Let me get my stove going after to uh, warm. Come on stove. There we go. There we go. Not too hot though, that way. So when this when the the salsage here gets done, you can Toss it on a little pan, keep it warm until we're ready for it. Oh yeah, this, this is looking good. But those are really done. Those are freaking done though. All right, we're gonna pull the patties off. Slap them on a little sheet pan here. Do a little piachment for them. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, you know what I mean, so. Alright, we got this guy. Put our, pull our patties off. And yeah, like I was saying earlier, so I'm, I'm using country ham instead of uh, instead of bacon. Because I feel like country ham is a little closer to what like what like you would get in the UK for your your for all your, your bacon needs. Rashers, okay? Rashers is what it's called in the old in merry old England. You guys like Mary Poppins? <laughs> Speaking of England, I do. You guys want to sing some Mary Poppins songs while we're cooking English breakfast? I think we should. Yeah. You guys remember this one? Ah! A robin feathering her nest has very little time to rest while gathering the bits of plot and twig. Ah? That's a, good, that's a pretty solid tune right there. Recommend that, that tune to everyone. You're getting a massage today? That'll be no, that'll be loose. It's gonna be loose. Wang said. Guys, it smells really good in here right now. I don't know if you know that or not. It smells pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna get our mater sliced up. I don't need this anymore, probably. I think it went a little heavy on the pork or fine enough or whatever here for now. It's good. It's great. Uh, slice up some breads. Slice up some breads. Yeah, guys, welcome. You guys are just uh, showing up, hanging out. We're doing English breakfast today. We're having an Irish coffee, making English breakfast. So, I hope you guys are familiar with your history. The English and the Irish typically don't get along too well, at least historically. I think they're probably fine now. Look at that. Poke. <laughs> Alright, bread slices. Give me a better give me a bread knife. Where you at bread knife? Where you at bread knife? Uh they had a pause on Instagram. Hello, pause on Instagram. What's up, buddy? Making some breakfast, homie. Alright, yeah, we're gonna slice some bread. Oh, actually, we'll probably get our, our our beans warming up, huh? Right, guys? Oak and beans for your English breakfast needs. Nothing fancy. So I was uh, I was talking with Spody last night about like like why, like why the like the British love like all these like tin things so much. I was wondering it was because of like, of like during World War II, they had to spend so much time in like bunkers, you know, and like you know like a lot of rationing was happening during like for like the war effort and stuff. So I'm wondering if they just got kind of used to it, kind of you know, kind of liked it. And that's why they love like tin beans and all this tin stuff. Tin, tin of curry, you know? You know? You guys know about tin of curry? All right, this is what's gotta get warm, so whatever. Uh, that's a little bit of shrooms there. Okay. You gotta head out, see you, Mr. Sack. Monsieur Sack, as it's called in England. The mushies are looking thick. Nice. All right. Bread. Back to the bread. I, like, what's weird? Like, the most like dominant smell is the mushrooms in here. It's crazy. Ink, ink, uh, yeah, yeah. Ink fish. You don't like mushrooms? You know, you're a monster. Well, regardless if you like them or not, we gotta have them. It's traditional. Traditional English breakfast. 
Also, I just recently understood what like like what like breakfast means when you break your fast. <laughs> you seem it seems so obvious. I just now made that connection. Like it was like on some TV show, and I was like, oh shit, oh. oh Bobcat. Hey, Bobcat! And, Thanks, dude. And Rummer Ordinance. Rummer Ordinance with the two, two follows back to back. Oh, dang. All right, we'll get these guys going here. All right, our pork is looking nice, so we're off to a great start. We're off to a great start. Slice a few more slices of this nice crusty bread. That's probably good. I don't need too much. That's probably four pieces is good. Trim this guy off. Get him going, too. Don't want to leave him out. You're invited to the party, too, Mr. In Peace. Aw, we miss you, too, Paz. Aw, uh, Paz, miss you, buddy. All right, good on the bread. Put that over here. Set these aside. We're gonna butter these up. Get these nice and toasted. Oh, Rummer Ordinance does the same thing you do with the intermittent inter. Oh, do you? Intermittent fasting. Dude, yeah, I've been trying that for about a month or so now. Terry Crews turned me on to it, and uh, you know, he's the man. So, GG Terry Crews. How's it? Uh, how's it? Uh, how's it working out for you, uh, Rummer? Are you, are you seeing any bodily changes? Oh, you're a mimosa. You're a mimosa. The boss say you can come in. Sure, Bob, come on. <laughs> okay, say bye to Instagram. Bye, Instagram. Love you guys for the grams. Yeah, pause. Twitch is better than Instagram. It's easier, I mean, uh, than, yeah, than like the channel. Cause I can't even, I can't see Instagram, so I can't be, I can't be chatting back. All right, so that's this is looking sick here. Now what I'm gonna do, which I don't know, this is the tradition, but I am gonna use this pan with all this delicious little pork bits in it. Yeah, I remember I am cheating today. I, I, I will eat breakfast today, so. Ooh, see pass with the follow. See pass with the follow. Thanks, dude. Yeah, I, I am going to cheat today, so I, I'm going to eat before, too. I, I usually, uh, I can't eat after 10. I can't eat before 2 most days. But Sundays is the one day I, I kind of, I kind of, I kind of cheat. Cause usually like, if I'm hanging out with Fody over here, like she'll be eating food, we gotta make food. Also, we usually do this at, uh, at, like, at like night. You're down, you're, oh, you're down 2% from your body fat? Down th okay, three months. Okay, so I haven't seen, I've maybe lost a couple of pounds. Yeah, but, oh, I mean, it's really more of like a, like a, a discipline thing for me as opposed to like really like trying to lose weight. Just like trying to like, you know, make me not like so, I guess like bound to food, you know, kind of make it where I can, I can, in, I can endure being hungry a little bit, you know, it's more like a spiritual thing, you know. Thanks for the follow. Thanks for the follow. Hunger, Hunger service. service. What's up? How's it going? It's going good here. We got some Irish coffee and English breakfast going on. Pretty sick. Find some, find some, do a little fry up here. This is looking nice. Yeah, yeah. Get our maters going here. Yeah, I'm gonna use this nice uh, hot cast iron skillet with all this nice pork fat for these tomatoes. Can't let that go to waste, you know. Yeah, Irish coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are, are you asking like what that is, or are you just saying like, oh, neat? You're asking what it is. It's just you know, it's just coffee. Um, usually you add like Irish cream. I just uh, added uh, milk and a little sugar and then a little splash of the old bourbon. It's not a bourbon. You know, you gotta, you gotta have a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, whiskey, yeah, yeah. What kind of whiskey? All right, we're using with uh, the Bookers here. It's a nice uh, Kentucky whiskey, you know. Good stuff. All right. I am actually Irish, so, you know, really speaks to me. That's probably good on the maters there. Probably wasted a lot of those, but hey, what else? Okay, sausage looking good. The 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Irish, Irish coffee. Yes, whiskey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if you guys know this. The Irish are known for liking a nice drink. Kind of like their thing. All right, pulling off these guys. It's got a little brown to them, you know. What else? All right, our oven is warm now, so I'm going to toss these guys in the oven, keep them nice and toasty. Let's get our grill going here for our bread as well. How you, how you looking there, beans? Look, look, beans looking good? All oh, beans, you're looking so good. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you, beans. I don't know. All right, we're just going to toss these guys right down in there. Right in the fat. The Irish like drinking, yeah, yeah, yeah. My favorite bourbon? Uh, it depends. I mean, if you're just going like regular, like every day, this thing is crazy. Like every day, kind of like nothing's fancy. I like Basil Hayden a lot. It's uh, kind of, it's not a very high proof, so it's, uh, it's like easy drinking. Um, it's good stuff. But I mean, if we're getting fancy, like a nice like Elmer tea or like any kind of, most of the pappies are really nice, hard to find. Uh, Weller is a good one if you can find it. Not expensive, but really high quality. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I haven't met many bourbons that I don't like, to be honest with you. No, I do. I'm not using tin beans, man. I'm keeping this traditional. The, uh, the uh, English love their love their tin beans. I'm not gonna. I'm not, I'm not gonna argue with them, you know. Yeah, and then last step, we're gonna fry some uh, a couple eggs up. I'm the freaking thing went out again. We have a. Look at matches handy. Oh no, is it out? Could be could be out of a, this canister. Could be dead. We're looking at there for a, a new canister, please. Yep. No. Wait. Hang on. No. 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 This isn't dead. Not dead. What's up? You live on Twitch. Nice. Oh, really? <laughs> Sushi Day. Is that another uh, cooker? Cooking streamer? You should do a Thai Tuesday and do stir fry. I love, I love Thai. I want curry. Yeah, we, we, we actually were going to do curry today, but uh, we got talking last night and I decided English breakfast was what I, was what I wanted. That's why I made it happen. No Crocs, no socks. English breakfast. It's kind of like it's kind of like Hobbiton in here right now, cause of my real hairy toes. You may find a toe hair in your tomatoes. Who knows? Ew. <laughs> oh yeah, it's old Rummer. Uh, he's a he's a real social butterfly on Twitch, huh? Or she? I don't want to assume it was gender. Okay. All right, for the egg wags. Let's use this kind of it's fine. it's fine. I need some, I need a new skillet that size. Like the medium size guy. Whoops. Ha ha! Spody hates an open cabinet. <laughs> yeah, these tomatoes, we just want to kind of like, yeah, kind of get them brown on the outside. But not like where it's so like, um, like mushy, you know? Good to see you again. Haven't seen you in a while. Oh, lasagna was the last one. Well, yeah, welcome back. Glad you can make it to the to the daytime stream. Yeah, kind of mixing it up. What we do? Oh, we did. Yeah, we did burgers last week. By the way, that lasagna. You can ask old Mr. I Hayes here. He's he sampled a piece. It was uh, pretty tasty. Pretty freaking tasty. Pretty freaking tasty. All right, how's it uh, looking? Good. Matters looking good. Flip 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 time. Flip. Flip, Philadelphia. 
Flipadelphia. Yep, looking good. Oh yeah, look at that guy. And see, now I don't have this like all that bacon fat and little pork bits that were on the pan are gonna be all over the maters. Oh yeah, this is looking sick. Sick! Nice. Okay. Yeah, well let these guys still cook a little more. Alright, it's so butter wrap bread. Get this stuff griddled up. You watch the lasagna VOD? Check it out. Uh, you may not be able to see it on Twitch anymore, but if you guys, um, I need to get some commands going, but uh, if you go to a side of Bourbon on YouTube, all, our, all of our live streams uh, should be there. Um, I'm also going to take all the videos and like make it like, like kind of condense them down. So it's like a little more, like cut out some of the slow times, make like an actual like like in, like instructional video, you know? So there's me being an, an idiot and jibber jabbering. Yeah, no one have commands yet. Smith! <laughs> English breakfast stuff. Uh, this, Smith is the inspiration behind today's uh, stream. He's the Englishman. Smith, you have to be the one to uh, yeah, tell me how like if this is like at all accurate. We we got our tin of beans though. Look at this showboat. You guys get showboat over there in the old UK, bud. Are you familiar with the showboat brand <laughs> pork and beans? All right, I'm gonna say these tomatoes are good to go. Also, Smith, we couldn't find any black pudding in the old US, sadly, sadly enough. But you said you weren't a big fan of it anyway, so what else, right? All right, boom, maters are good to go. Get these guys off here. Get these guys out of here. Looking good. Nice roasted mater. How about Smith, so far, how, how do the tomatoes look? Mm. Boom. Maters. Wait, what is, what is this saying uh, no to? He doesn't know those beans. Oh, another chef boat means yeah, I figured. I figured. You, you can't find it either? Oh, really? You went looking for it, too? Yeah, I I mean, I, I, if I went to, like, maybe, like, a butcher shop or something, I could maybe find some. But I don't know. Yeah, I don't know where, like, like around here at all. I can get that. I can get something like that. All right, we're done with the old uh, skillet there. I'm done with that, too. Our beans are looking nice. Yeah. Alright, let's get our bread going, and then we gotta fry some eggs. Yeah, guys, it's also called a fry up. Like I said earlier, I think that's a, a much cooler name than just an English breakfast. English fry up sounds neat. Sounds like fun. I should have got this butter out earlier. It's not very soft. Wait, what is black pudding? So, black pudding, as my, the illustrious Spody here is asking, it's actually uh, blood sausage. It's just, it's just called black pudding. And once again, if you guys don't know what blood sausage is, um, it's a very, like, old-timey, like, basically it's like when you had to eat every part of the animal and you butchered a lamb or a pig or something, you would, you would keep the blood. You would drain the, the, you would hang the pig up or the animal up, cut its throat, drain all that blood out, and you would save that because that's protein. That's like, you have to eat it. So they would take the blood, they would take, they usually get, like, like a bunch of, like, spices, and they get, like, some kind of, like, cereal, like oats or barley, and they put that in there, and that's what actually makes the sausage. It, like the blood soaks into the oats, so it makes this like kind of mealy, uh, like it's like soft mash. And then they get the in the in the intestine, and they sh they make the sausage. They use that for the the filling, put it into the uh, casing, then they, then they cook it. So like they cook it, it gets like it gets fucking firm. It quite like congeals. It coagulates. It uh, you know yeah 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 yeah. yeah. So that's that's what that is. Old Smithy here said he's not a fan of it either, so I wasn't too I wasn't too upset that I couldn't find any. Alright, getting a bread on the old griddle here. Boom. Alright, probably just probably get the eggs going soon, huh? Old eggy wags. Yeah, don't judge this pan, it's kind of a piece of crap, but it's fine. Yeah, dude, straight up protein, man. Like, no joke. No joke. 
But yeah, I mean, that was back in the time where like you couldn't afford to, to waste any bit of like nutrition, especially anything that's coming from like one of your livestock, or, like one of your animals. Like that is that's gold, you know. I'd eat it, but it had to tell him, <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, I would, I would totally try. It. I'm a pretty adventurous eater. Um, like I, I will try pretty much any food once. Like that doesn't. That, I'm, I'm not very squeamish about stuff like that, so I would totally try. Hundred percent would try. All right. Um, let's see where we at here. Bread's looking nice because it's bread and butter. Going good. Beans are going good. I want to reduce these beans a bit. I added, added some water to it. May have been a mistake. All right. What's up? You ever heard of? No, I don't even know how to say that. Dino one. Oh, okay. Filipino pork blood stew. It sounds cool. Dude, we did uh like the Korean hot pot for the first time a few weeks ago. It was awesome. Yeah, my buddy Smith here. He said um he doesn't like it because of the the texture. Said the the said the, uh, when he's had it, it's kind of gritty, which I, I totally get. It's just blood and like oats, you know. So I, mean, I can see where it's like. This guy could be gritty, but I would, I'd still try it. I mean, it, it looks good. It looks good, like, like in the pictures. It looks, it looks, it looks awesome. Labaxa with the follow. Labaxa, what's up? Welcome. Thanks for the follow. This Irish coffee is doing the ye old trick, as they say in the old country. Mmm. Oh, some are good. Very good. All right, so we got our stuff and things going. Our pork is looking good, staying warm. Our mushrooms are looking good. Our bread is getting flipperooed. Not quite. Not quite. I like, I like, a, I like a nice toasted bread. Ah! Ha! Guys, you should use your fingers to pick up hot stuff. Uh, a little pro tip for you. Hey, Uncle Stinky, what's up? Welcome. <laughs> hey, from Seattle, dude. We were just in Seattle. Uh, like two weeks ago, man. Went to Orcas Island. Uh, if you check out our, our Instagram, we had some, uh, good times. Uh, made some really good food. Caught some crabs, caught some salmon. Uh, went hiking. It was sick. It was, like, the best vacation I've ever had. It was awesome. Very awesome. If you guys don't know, like, Pacific Northwest, like, this time of the year, and they told me to not tell anyone this, it is beautiful. I hear from, like, July 4th to, like, October magical any other time cold and rainy but it was, it was great it was beautiful absolutely beautiful so oh, is, oh who's uh who is sushi uh can someone link uh sushi's um channel in the the chat i would like to uh check them out hey k meg you're an inspiration too here's to you irish coffee too well i guess well you're not the irish side of the family tell andy irish coffee She's a little liar. Oh, that's true. That's true. Yeah, you are. You are. Wait, what is what is that? What is belly.io? What is belly.io? <laughs> oh, cool. What is this? Oh, it's, a, it's a cool website, though. Dude, this is like, I, this is me. I'm also a programmer. Tell me to check that out. Dude, that's I'm 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 a coder. Holy crap! I should definitely uh, could I cook haggis, dude? I would I would. Whew, that's a tough one. I don't know if I could pull that off, but I would definitely smash some haggis. You're not a programmer. Hmm. Irish coffee is delicious, man. Sweet whiskey. -y. Another um. I can't say mimosa today. Another mimosa, milady. Bean check. All right, probably reduce that a little bit. Been on low. Oh, bread. Don't burn, don't burn the bread. Oh, beautiful. All right, mimosa, prosecco. That came in comment. Comment was Brian. Uh, that's Brian. Hey, Brian. Cook haggis so you don't have to. All right. I mean, see, the thing about making haggis is, like, getting the stuff for it. That, to me, is probably the hardest part. 
I mean, so like, what, yeah, what is it? You get like, um, get like a lamb stomach, right? Lamb stomach, and then uh, you fill it full of like a bunch of like other like organ meats, right? And just kind of bake it. Like, 100% would eat that. Like, not, that doesn't scare me at all. 100% would eat that. Hundred percent would eat. Yeah, that's another one that I'm sure scares a lot of people too. Haggis. I mean, it's a, it's like a traditional it's Scottish, right? Scottish Scottish dish. Yep, yep, yep. All right, it's coming together nicely. It's gonna be delicious. Ah! Gotta stop touching the bread, John. Hey, Tully, what's up? You just followed sushi there. Okay, cool. Good job, Spody. Yeah, I'm also curious. Like, so, like, do they just make sushi, or is that just, like, their like, name? Is it primarily a sushi-based strum? Also, guys, once again, if you're just joining us, we're doing a traditional English breakfast. Um, don't have any black pudding, I'm sorry to say. But we have to, we got the, the tin of beans. We got the tomatoes, we got the mushrooms, we're about to put the some eggs up. It's gonna be, it's gonna be delicious. And another intimidating dish, um, haggis is definitely a tough one. Like, uh, um, like a beef wellington, that's a, that's a tough one to do on stream especially. I, I can probably pull that off off stream, but like, oh, turducken? Turducken is tough. That's tough. Oh, Johnny, uh, that actually kind of reminds me of like the like the Reddit meme. Would you uh, would you rather uh, fight um, one horse sized duck or a or, or hundred or a hundred duck sized horses? <laughs> I think I'd rather go a hundred duck sized horses. I feel like I could like just like start just, like, kicking, just kicking. Sausages, we got them, Smith. So Smith, you can weigh in on this on this. So in the U.S., right, our bacon is called streaky bacon, right? And over in your neck of the woods, you have rashers, right? So instead of bacon, I actually got some nice country ham that to me feels more like, like with like what, 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 what you would get in like a, like a, like a, like a UK English uh, breakfast, right? So not crispy. It's like nice pieces of like just kind of salty smoked pork. That's 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 what I'm going with. That's what I'm going with. Yeah. Okay. Noise. 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 Yeah, right? It's a big platter of pork. So, seems perfect. Yeah, I think we're going to fry up the old, uh, the, old, the old eggaroos now. You guys call them eggaroos, Smith? Probably do. <laughs> Bread's looking good. God, is, there, is there anything better than, like, butter, toasted butter bread? That's just the way. I don't care who you are. Yeah, it looks the same, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I was going to use, like, I have some, like, really nice, like, super thick-cut streaky bacon in, in, the, in the fridge, but, I don't know, I was looking at some, like, pictures of, like, English breakfasts, and, uh, yeah, and, it, like, 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 the rasher looks more like ham to me, so, I'm going to, call me crazy. Quick. This bread. Guys, I make the best bread. This bread. Beautiful. Beautiful bread. All right. All right, let's get our uh, eggs going, right? Turn this off. This is all, uh, this is all, uh, this is off now. So these mushrooms look good. Let's taste the mushroom. Mm. 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 Yeah, no, Smith. I told you last night. Canadian bacon, they have hijacked the word bacon. There's freaking Canadians. How dare they? Oh, we got an English butcher. The, the bangers are awesome. Ah, oh, dude, I bet they. Ah, oh, dude. So, Uncle Stinky. Oh, wait, were, were you the guy from Seattle? Was was that you? See, so, yeah, where is it? Where are? Where's the Seattle? Yeah, Uncle Stinky. So, dude, uh, we were at. So, when we were in Seattle two weeks ago, we were at. Um, yeah, we were at. I uh, we went to uh, Pike Place, like buy a bunch of like vegetables and fish and steak and stuff. So, like across the street from Pike Place. If, if you've been to Pike Place, oh, you're near Seattle, so okay, but it, I'm sure you've been to like a Pike Place, right? It's pretty. I don't know, maybe you haven't. I don't know. It's like kind of touristy, so like a local man, I go there. But 
across the street from it is a Polish pierogi place. Like, it's just pierogies. And the line was, like, out the door, like, had, like, a little, like, turnstile, like, like a little, like, roped-off area of, like, 40 people in line. It's crazy. We didn't check it out because we didn't have time to wait in line for it, but it looked awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, do you know what I'm talking about? It looked... Noise. The hunger service asked how long we've been streaming. Oh, hunger service, sorry, I missed it. Uh, yeah, like six months, maybe? Even that much? Wait, on this channel? Yeah. In six months? Yeah. Dang, dude. Well, the kitchen renovation was in January. Yeah, it's true. We started at yeah, first of the year about... Yeah, yeah, oh, oh, is... Oh, that, okay, that's what, that's what it's called, Pierogi pierogi? Yeah, it looked, it looked awesome. I do, I love me a nice pierogi. Huge, huge fan, huge fan. All right, let's get our skillet here going. Let's get her going. Isn't that a cool sound of like something nice like that? It's cool, it's cool. Get that going, put a little booter. A little booter in our pan here. All right, this is what I do also, guys. I'm, I'm trying to fry an egg, but I want the uh, but I, but I want the yolk to stay nice and runny. I'm kind of keep. Oh, hold on. Thought you were getting a plastic wrap out, and I was confused. <laughs> I like I cook it in plastic. I like a nice plastic crust to my uh, my eggs. Uh, I'll get a little piece of aluminum foil, or as the English say, aluminium. Right, guys? English breakfast, right? Fold it in half so it's nice and nice and thick. And I kind of like put it on top of the eggs when I cook, so it kind of makes a little oven, so it doesn't. So the the bottom is kind of like the heat kind of stays trapped on top a little bit. You know, that's what I do. If you don't like it, get out of here. No, I'm kidding. It's uh, it is it's good tip. It's good. Pretty, pretty good tip. All right, smear that. Oh god. Oh no. Smear that about. Okay, let's see. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's that get? Oh, they go out. Stupid thing! I hate this thing. You went through a lot of matches. I have a ton of matches. We're wasted matches. It's a finite resource. The match, the, the match trees are dying because of us. Okay, what else? What is next? Should I wash out my coffee with a little splash of bourbon? I think I should. I'm gonna be hammered by, by what time is it? What time is it right now? Noon? One? Just a little splash of root, guys. Hey, man. So thanks for hanging out, everybody. Cheers. I hope your Sunday's going amazing. Hope you're having a great day and a great life. Cheers. sucks. <laughs> this thing sucks. All right, we're doing the eggs over here. That thing, is, that thing is done for. That's the last time. There's a freaking fire hazard, dude. This thing's terrible. Don't build by one of these. It's dangerous. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Jeez Louise, guys. <laughs> that thing's freaking dangerous. It made the same sound. You were just saying how much you Yeah, like, 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 like how cool it is. You hear that sound and the whole place goes up in flames. Jeez. Okay. I'm making pork chops, mushroom gravy, steamed potato, steamed potatoes. Interesting. You just like put your potatoes like in a, like in a steamer, like whole, and it's kind of let them steam. Yeah, cool. All right, this thing's out of here. This thing's out of here. This thing's, a, this thing's dangerous. All right, we'll do the uh, the the eggs over there, and then we'll plate over here. We'll play we'll do a little plate of roux right here. <clears throat> it's hot in here now too. Guys, it is so hot. Like uh, we live in Tennessee. It's like a million degrees right now. A million. Okay, like do you like do you peel them first? Wait, Uncle Stinky, are you do you stream? Are you gonna are you gonna are you gonna stream this? Pirate D, what's up, baby? You just missed another fire hazard, Pirate D. That 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 burner's out of here. 
I'm not, I'm not, I'm not using that again. I think it's dangerous. Okay, okay, you're just making it. I got you, I got you. I got you. All right, we'll move this out of the way. Get our pan here going. Let's not gonna burn the house down. Hopefully. <laughs> no! Spout it now! What? Was it Pirate D who like Yes! Pirate D clipped it. Clipped it. Jackass. <laughs> yeah, Pirate D likes to clip all of my kitchen mishaps, like when I use a blender and fill it too full of boiling hot magma and it explodes everywhere all over me. I saw, look at this. Look, I just got a scar. <laughs> yeah, I got this scar from cooking. It's hazardous, man. It's hazardous. Oh, great. Oh, my God. Pirate D. Guys, Pirate D is one of my old, my old school buds, too. But he likes to, uh, likes to bust the balls. He does that. The D stands for Dyak. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Thanks, Pirate D. Thanks, bud. Day drinking. It's freaking sick. Okay. All right, we got a pan nice and buttered up, nice and lubed. Guys, you gotta lube your pants, okay? You gotta do that. The butter's getting a little brown here. All right, we're just gonna frost some eggs up. No, no bigs. If you're, if you're cool, you do it with one hand. I'm not that cool, so I don't. Trying to knock a shell in there. Trying to keep the yolks nice and whole. Looking good. Boom. Beautiful. And now, like I said, I like to get my aluminum foil. Uh, also, no one clicked that link. It's probably some sort of scam uh, phishing account. Pirate D, he's a known uh, hacker on Twitch. So don't click any link from him. It's probably, it's probably fake. But let's do that. Do a little toppy top. As they say in the culinary biz, toppy top. Yeah, like we're pretty much we're getting rid of, uh, we're getting close here, guys. We're getting close to plating the beautiful breakfast, or you break your fast, right? Top off. How many is that for you? Seventeen. <laughs> Don't judge me, Mikey. <laughs> I love me a nice, uh, like mimosa-filled, fueled brunch. You, oh, Sushi Day also has mishaps? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'll definitely be sure to go check out those. I'm glad it's not just me. Now, the, yeah, the, the Coleman canister, that was, that was actually bad. I actually, thinking back on that, I'm like, that was a, that was a massive mistake. That could have been like a problem. Yeah, like the blender was funny, but... Yeah. Blender's, blender stuff's funny, but like a, uh, like a possible butane canister exploding in your face? Not so much. All right, the beans are looking beautiful. I know, I, yeah, I can't wait to see some, someone else's mishaps as well. I'm glad it's not just me. Yeah, but cheers, man. Mimosa time. All right, so plating, I think, is important, right? Like, this, this has, like, a lot of colors, and it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a beautiful thing. So i got to make sure I do it justice. <clears throat> Do it justice. Also, I don't want to. I don't want to overcook my eggs here, so keep a close eye on those bad boys. Wait, she has let syrup bowl over the pot and deep fry the camera. <laughs> Muffin murders. Oh no. Oh, kids, the main keeper of fails. <laughs> oh, are you? <laughs> The Muffin Murders. <laughs> you know what that reminds me of? It reminds me of that scene from Shrek with like the gingerbread man. He's like, do you know the, mu the, do you know the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man. The Muffin Man! <laughs> Who lives on Jewelry Lane? Well, she's married to the Muffin Man. The Muffin Man! <laughs> she's married to the Muffin Man. That is a great scene. And kind of messed up because he's stabbing his legs off. It's a gingerbread man. Uh, they're gonna fix up in the end. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's, oh, it's so good. It's so good. That's a that's a great that's a great scene. <laughs> so good. She's married to the muffin man. <clears throat> also, my other favorite scene from Shrek. This is the last Shrek reference. 
when Shrek first walks up to the castle and there's the guy in the big uh, Farquhar hat and he like runs from him, but he runs like it's like the aerial view. He runs like 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 along the, the rope top thing or folks the way. He's like ah, he runs along it. <laughs> it's so stupid. It's so funny. She's married to the Muffin Man. All right, all right. I'm stop. I'm stop saying that. Last clip from today's vod. Oh, great. Oh, great. Oh, is that from today? You weren't even here then! You son of a... You son of a bitch. Parity. Oh, yeah, wait, why aren't you a mod? <laughs> it's a, that is a great question, Smith. Boom, mod. Yeah, wow. That's, that's a real... It's <laughs> a real... It's a real oversight on my part. Yeah, Smith, wait, why, why are you a mod? <laughs> Smith. <laughs> I'm, I'm just kidding, though, Smith. I because you're mine, because you're because you're you're, you're, uh, you're uh, in my in my heart, the one in my heart. You are Smith. This this dream's for you, Smith. Okay, I'm gonna kill the heat on these guys. Let them kind of steam for a second. For not <laughs> well, you don't know how to ban someone. It was, it, was, it was embarrassing. Our defenses were down. Had some real weirdos in here doing weird stuff. Uh, no, Smith, you're, you're there for like the same uh, like, man, moral support, bud. Okay, and I think it's almost time to play. Call me, call me crazy, bud. I think it's almost time. Let's get all our fangs out here. Let's get all our fangs out. Oh, yeah, look at this. Pulp ladder! You got in trouble for banning an IRL friend of a food streamer, Rut Row. Oh, oh, interesting, isn't, isn't that, Pirate D, how Uncle Stinky here. Banned an IRL friend of someone they were they were uh, they were mod for. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? I don't know what you're referring to. When when Pirate D banned mine, Jeff, he banned Jeff for like an hour and he oh. couldn't unban him. And he was like texting me like, I'm still banned. I'm still banned. I'm like, I'm trying, Jeff. <laughs> That's really <funny>. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Pirate D did that. The the king of all mods did that. Pretty funny. Okay, okay. Those look pretty sick right there. I like, I like that little look. I'm gonna let them sit for another minute though, because they're so little underdone. I don't like my like my whites to be uh, to be runny. I like I like a nice firm whiteness. Wait. Like a nice hard white weight. The white should be hard weight. Okay. I don't eggs. Shut up. Oh, that wasn't pirate D. Uh that was you, Pirate D. Hundred percent was you. Wait, no, yeah, it was you. Yeah, you're making the you're making the face up here. We can blame it on Lost Woodsman. I mean, that's that's fine. We can blame it on Lost Woodsman. I mean, he's got a baby and stuff now, though. I feel I feel bad adding more stress to his life. I'm sure, I'm sure he's really I'm sure he's really stressing about baby bearing mine. Yeah, those are yeah, those are good. Those are good. Give me like another second, steaming over here, and we're good to go. All right. I like what. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I like I like firm whites. Sounds racist and also like I'm into dudes. Um, yeah, let's freaking let's freaking play this stuff. Yo, you 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 did it. I'm pretty sure you did it, party. Maybe I don't know. It's been it's been a minute now. I'm not forgetting. Now I'm kind of forgetting. All right. Yeah, I think, I, think, I, think we're, I think we're good to go, right? I think we're freaking good to go here. Smith, okay. I got a, I'm kind of winking it here on the plating of this. What should go first? The beans? In the middle? It's like a platter. Of goodness. That's, that's not helpful at all. A platter of goodness. It's not helpful at all. All right, anyways, let's do it. Let's freaking wing it. Beans should go first. I feel like beans should go first. Yeah, oh, it wasn't you? Okay. Oh, did we already have this conversation? I thought it was you still. I thought you were just being a, a little sneaky snake. All right, beans first. Boom. A lot of beans. Everyone loves a nice bean. Right? Love it. So far, love it. The eggs should go last. I should go last. 
All right, our rashers here, right, right, right. English, England, Englandese. Our black puddings. Okay, all right, okay. All right. So let's like actually divide the, the, the poke stuff up up here like this. Like that, like that. That guy's over there. Okay, what next? Tomatoes? Put some tomatoes over here like this. Stack them around the beans. Nice, nice little bean stack. Put another little pile over here. Uh, can you guys see this? Oh, yeah. Okay, like that looks good, I think. The mushies. So now let's leave, let's do all tomatoes over here. Do like one guy right there. Two, two, two guys there. Leave this for the eggs, I think. The mushies over here. Kind of cascade. Little, little, little cascade over here of the mushies. A couple, couple guys on this. Throw another, throw another mater up there so you can see it a little better. Touching, always touch your food a lot with your fingers. People love that. Boom. A couple pieces of bread over here. So, special order, where are you over there, all right? Big fat egg piece here. I have to bust it open. I don't know. What else? Is it, like, is it, does it look pretty good? So, so look pretty good. I can pull some of this bread off. It's kind of thin. The tomatoes are kind of thin and chewy. I can see one here. You can see I'm kind of peeking out. Oh, okay. Put one on top of this stuff like this. Boom. I don't know. Like, what do you guys, what do you guys think? What do you guys? Look, look at this. Oh, English, English breakfast, right? Smith, weigh in on this. Yeah, I like, I like a nice fill plate, right? It's like the new aesthetic. Just go from, from edge to edge. <laughs> Seriously. Huh? Huh? Smith, where are you? Thanks for the follow, Uncle Stinky. Yeah, Uncle Stinky, thanks. Welcome. Good nice having you. All right, I think that's a pretty, uh, pretty nice plate of food there. Right? See, see the beans? See all the stuff here? A bunch of eggs? Right? Okay. Smith, you, you approve? You got the Smith approval. Nice. Well, Alright guys, we're going to go eat this food now. Uh, and call it a stream. But thanks for all the follows, man. It's been so fun. For me personally. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. We usually do... Uh, oh. Fire D. It's for you, bud. <laughs> For you. Yeah, I'm good. Pass, I wish, but there's not enough room in here to eat it. So, hmm. Oh, did you get and post them? Oh, from Sushi Day? Here, you want to do pig small? I'm finishing up. Okay. Splinter's going to do some pics for Instagram. Guys, hit us up on Instagram also. Post all our pictures there. We're also on YouTube. Oh, uh, here we go. I'm going to watch this real fast. It's just... Yeah, that's freaking good. Wait, what is that? What is that thing? It's 
Oh. <laughs> Is that like a sushi roller? Can't tell what. Oh, it's a, oh, a press. Interesting. I, I've never, I've never seen them before. The, the sushi bazooka. That's cool. Here's a, uh, here's a, a pretty cool kitchen, huh? Yeah, it's got a pretty nice kitchen. I like it. The sushi bazooka. Dude, that sausage right there right there. Killer. Brian, what's up, dude? How's it going, man? What's up with you? We just finished cooking our English breakfast. We just got done. We're about to go smash it in our face holes. Oh, how dare you! The, uh, the English are smithy. Weigh in on that. We have our, our resident Englishman in the chat right now. Okay, but uh, Brian, what's a Scottish breakfast? I don't know like, what that is. And honestly, if you don't know what the thing is, but who know what an English breakfast is, I'm not sure the Scottish breakfast is... Uh, like, you know, winning the uh, breakfast game. Oh, 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 that's the husband of the streamer. Okay, so Sushi Day is a, is, is, is a lady. Yeah, no, that, that burner that burner's done for, Byron D. I'm not buying, I'm not using that thing anymore. I think it's, I think it's, it's hazardous. Yeah, they have an awesome kitchen, though. They have an awesome kitchen. Love it. But yeah, guys, yeah, go check us out on YouTube. All of our uh, live streams are there. One of these days, when I find some time, I'm going to like start editing our videos and making them more condensed and be like, this is like, you know, the actual steps to make this dish. Because most of it's me just rambling and being stupid and setting things on fire and burning myself. So, you know. English one contains black pudding haggis. Oh, Lauren saw. Interesting. Yeah, so, uh, let me get the... Play back in there. Yeah, so we uh, we didn't we didn't have black pudding. Um, yeah, no party. We'll, 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 we'll do curry. We'll, we'll do curry next week, next uh, Sunday night. Promise you, for you, for all, all for you, Power D. We're doing curry. Power D. Speaking of curry, would it be okay to use a pre-made curry paste for the like the flavor? Or should I make my own curry paste? Weigh in on that. <sighs> yeah, you, you did. You love the, yeah, dude. The lasagna was great. About seven. Oh, did you really? From the cap. Oh, interesting. Uh, Brian, seven hours ago. So where, uh, where are you? Are you in the UK somewhere? I'm guessing. Yeah. So haggis slices. Huh? Yeah. Actually, it's funny, Brian. Um, there was just someone in here a few minutes ago talking about like trying to make like I should make haggis on stream, and I was like, that's a, that's a tough one. That's an intimidating dish right there. Oh, you're in Scotland. Oh, nice, dude. Welcome, man. Cool. Yeah, two of our friends just got uh, just went to Scotland and got, got got married. Just just the two of them. Use curry powder, like so. Powder. This is like this is my go-to. I like this stuff. I like I like I like the paste. So I, I usually buy this right here. It's like it's like green curry paste. It's 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 pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Yeah. Do we do a calzone stream? Uh, sort of, kitten. We did like a like. Uh, it was like like a pizza pocket stream, uh, but it was basically calzones. Um, I made like a joke like we're gonna make hot pockets and stuff, but I just I didn't do it. Oh, here we go. Hey Brian, here we go. So yeah, this is the uh, this is what we made here. We hit me on that prep cam, Spody. Yeah. So this is our English breakfast that we made. Are they still nice and runny? Oh baby, they're so runny. Yeah. So that's it, guys. But yeah, once again, man, thanks for hanging out. Follow, hit us on Instagram, hit us on YouTube. If you had fun today, hit that follow button. Uh, we try to do this every Sunday, usually at night. Some, who knows, though? Sometimes we mix it up. Uh, but it's been awesome. We, uh, we're going to play our outro video that our boy Wang Sack made for us. It's been way fun hanging out with you guys. Yeah, YouTube, Instagram, all that stuff. We'll see you guys next Sunday. Thanks for watching Side of Bourbon. <laughs>